Hello everybody, and welcome back. Last episode, we tackled the White Hand up at the Temple of Thurga, and we do need to go back because we have some bosses there we have to get. But before we do any of that today, I want, I was looking at my quest log, and uh, there is a ton of quests that we still haven't finished. Ooh, look at this boss. Now, he's not usually here, but I have got to get this done. <laughs> Oh my gosh, what the heck is that? You got ads. I was tougher than I thought. Holy crap. Alrighty then. Okay. <laughs> hmm. I am taking a run down the mountain here. And we are going to attempt to go get this hatchet that has been eluding me for quite a few levels now. It's in a cannibal camp, and I just keep getting ganged up on, and I just have trouble getting it done. So, we are going to do that first thing. the horse. <gasps> All right, now, the last time we came up behind them, which is what I'm going to try to do here. No, it's in a cave at the end over here. Oh, 
Bring it on, boys. Bring it on. All right. Yep, there's the chief. What we need is on the chief, I think. So what we're going to do, now he's going to have ads if I recall, if I can keep my focus on him, There's the hatchet. Sweet. Fantastic. Okay, so. Now we just gotta get out of here. Gonna run it. Don't want to waste time with you guys. Leave me alone. Go the road. Oh, there it is. Nope, that's not the road we want. <laughs> they going to go this way. Buggers. We gotta go see Sian. Cannibals not eating you yet? Haha. <laughs> I finally got the hatchet. I wouldn't be back if I didn't have it yet. Hand it to me, and I'll be about these repairs. Here you go. I'm gonna take the bow. Do you need anything else? You're a keen one. Not tired from walking the wilderness, eh? You've the air of a soft southerner to you. So I only ask to make sure you're still able to stand. Oh, well, I'm fine. Now, do you need something? Fine, fine, fine. If you're in no mood to jest, one of our scouts, Arlen, patrols the eastern forest. He's inexperienced, and I fear he's not skilled enough to do his duty if the truth be known. Track him down if you're looking to shed some blood. He'll point you in the right direction. Okay, I can find him. The forest east of here. Keep your eyes open and your weapons up. Flesh eaters are all through these wilds. Be well. Okay, he's got something else also. Greetings. I feel the urge to travel elsewhere. Huh, is that so? How does a journey to Thunder River sound? I have a personal trade route established with General Lupercus, one of the Aquilonian commanders stationed there. I could use your aid in the next delivery, if you're willing. Well, what is it that you trade? Pelts and furs, mostly. He gives them to his soldiers who stand guard over the prison island. 
Lupercus commands the fortress by the great prison island of Thunder River, you see. In return for the pelts, he pays me in valuables taken from the prisoners. Okay, I can take your furs to Thunder River. Excellent. My thanks for this. Now, travel to Canark, where you can find a wagon. It can take you to the Aquilonian capital, Tarantia. When you get there, get on a wagon to Thunder River. Remember, take the furs to General Lupicus. You'll find him by the fortress in Thunder River. Safe journeys. Oh, fantastic. Well. So we've got a new area that we can go to when we're finished messing around here. But I'm going to see what grief needs. What else you? I seek to honor my grandfather in death. He was a great explorer forever wandering far from our tribal lands across Chimeria. I travel in his footsteps now, burying him bone by bone in the region he visited. Oh, well that sounds kind of interesting. Kind of, kind of a noble endeavor? I, I believe so as well. I've been driven from one of the destinations twice now though, the brigands of the bandit king, Atzel, spill out into the lands around his fortress. I'm no warrior. I can't fight my way in to bury my grandfather's bones there. Well, I can bury them for you. Oh, I'd hoped you would offer to save me from begging. My grandfather's shade will thank you. In Atzel's approach, bury his bones on the high ridge overlooking the river. A great waterfall marks the spot. You can't miss it. Okay. Okay, we have another turn in. I must have run right past him. Why did C and Senya talk to me? Well, I want to help the clan here. And he said you might need some assistance. Ugh. He doubts me. I'm young, but I'm strong and skilled. The task before me is dangerous. I have to hold the east against the cannibal tribe that hides in the wilderness. I thank you for your help, though. There is much to do. Okay. Well, the last few days out here have convinced me that the mountain clans face dire times. The flesh eaters are no longer divided as they once were. They're a true tribe seemingly organized into outposts for each hunting band. We need to tear a hole in their defenses, hopefully breaking them up into scattered groups again. Okay, well, burning down their outposts might help. Also, killing their scouts might be a good idea also. Oh, I don't know. I've been killing scouts for weeks now, and the bastards venture out, and I fear their numbers are almost endless. I think we should raise one of their camps, hoping it'll sow disaster among them. All right. I'll need flint and steel to set the fire, though. And you shall have it. I store mine behind my hut in the stronghold down in the valley. I keep it there in case I'm slain and the cannibals loot my body. A flint and steel are valuable around here, you know. When you attack the camp, make sure you leave no one alive in your wake. Okay, well this looks uh, interesting. So first I think we have to do is we have to find his stuff. His chest is in this direction. Doesn't look like it's too far. If it's outside the camp, though, I don't know. Oh, there. Okay, so we have his stuff. Okay, so next we have to burn the lookout post and kill 20. Cannibals. Well, let's start up here. 
I didn't like that very much. with the bears. They should count. Let's check our map. Well, we're kind of right where we need to be. Let's keep going up this road. Oh, <laughs> 
Be a dead end here. Yeah. Awesome. Check him out. this dude and he's going to pull the boss Got all we needed. Um, I do want to check the map real quick. Because I thought ooh. Oh, it's one hander. I thought this was the way to get here. But we passed it. Okay. So let's go this way and see if there's a road.
Interesting. I, I don't think this is the road, but we are going to find out. Looks like this is where we're going. footprints. I do see something. Here. Immerse pass. Let's check it out. Oh! When I entered the region known as Immerse Pass, the earth shook, and I heard a disturbing scream. I should ask one of the locals what's going on in this region. There seems to be some kind of camp ahead. Somebody there can surely help me. Oh, wow. Okay. Discovered Western Pass. All right, well, we need to talk to this guard here. Hello. Yes? Uh, hi. Uh, did you just feel that earthquake right now? I, in the past, it was not unheard of for the earth to move in Amir's Pass. But it happens often now. I wonder if Amir is testing us. Oh, did you hear the noise that accompanied the earthquake? It sounded like an unearthly scream. Oh, surely you jest. There was no sound. Oh, it sounded like something in great pain. Uh, if you want to talk about imaginary noises, go speak with Gisvin. He's a crazy fool who believes he has seen the gods walking. You get along well. Away with you now. I have better things to do than talk of screaming gods and foolish witchery. Okay, well, where, where do I find this Gisvin fellow? He's somewhere in the camp. No doubt spouting his nonsense to whoever will listen. Okay, here we go. I'm not sure I'm supposed to be here yet, but they're... Oh, wow, look at all these quests. Okay, well, you know what? Everybody, I think we're going to leave the episode here. This is going to be a great place to pick up next time. Thank you for joining me today. Please give me a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And hope to see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye now.